These are good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Tear for dear.
Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Thanks, but I'd rather walk. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. your gods 
Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are! The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius. And you will be going nowhere, lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well. I leave you in divine hands. This time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. You are now under the stern eye of the God of Light. Hope that your underwear is clean. It seems like you do not hold the priests of Teleme in high regard. It's mostly that I do not trust them. They're hot-headed. Young man. Pardon me. Are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin. And I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again.
Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute, and I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor, the horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter.
Holtz! What's your destination, my lord? Just into town. I am an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, my lord. Halt! Your names, titles, and business at hand. Sir de Sardet, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hickman, Your Excellency. Welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet, and always in the vanguard of progress. Thanks for your visit. Here's the palace. 
Did you prepare a speech? Being an ambassador is as dangerous as running on the rigging in a storm. I think it would be better for me to stay here if you want to preserve your image with the Alliance. My mere presence by your side would be perceived as an insult. What can I do for you, my child? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand, chasing your cousin. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Your Excellency, I'm very sorry, but I can't let you in. For safety reasons, people from Teleme are not tolerated at the palace. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, of course. I'm so dangerous that I could attack the palace all by myself. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. 
Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. You ask the question why. You steal our lands, gouging the earth in sacred places. And now our people are disappearing. It's enough to drive one to unsheath a blade, do you not agree? She is not wrong, Your Excellence. The acts of your own people have brought this aggression down upon you. I should have guessed that those birthmarks you share would make you sympathetic to their cause. I was hoping diplomacy would prevail. I have overestimated your skills in the matter. As I was saying, we are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. But we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved, you would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war. But we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
Cousin! You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Carton. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. I've been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me, then. Was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors... <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. <laughs>